Hi everyone, my name is Christian from Solotech Solutions and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to customize your own reports. On my screen you can see that I've got a report open. It's in this one, it's the list of, in this case it's the list of wires. And you can see that I've got origin, destination, wire number, section and length as my columns. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to customize um, this table. What I'm trying to achieve today is um, I would like to have separate tables for the different colors that I've used in my project and I would like to see the total length as well um, and if it's possible maybe in meters instead of millimeters so that the values are not that big. So to do that I will have to go to my project tab up the top on the ribbon and left click on reports. This will open up the reports manager. I've already showed you guys how to add and remove reports from your actual project. In this week's video, I'm just gonna focus on the list of wires by line style. So here again are the same columns as I had on my drawing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to its properties and this will open up the properties for that specific type of report. Let's first go and have a quick look at um, my columns. You can see over here that the report name is wiring line style, a one wiring line type metric. We can change this if we want to. I will leave it as it is and um, we can go to columns over here as well. So in this section we can actually um, determine what columns do I want to show on my actual drawing. Now I might actually add a couple of more columns. I would like to see um, maybe the color of my drawing or sorry of my wires um, and maybe see in what ducts it is routed. So what ducts on my actual in my actual cabinet the wire goes through. So we can do that by right clicking in this area over here. So next to the length column I'll right click and this will open up my column configuration. Now I will enable color code as well. Because it's at the top it will be added before the actual origin and maybe we add duct path as well. Now there's many more, much more information that we can show. As you can see, we've got our translatable data and our 10, actually more than 10, we've got 20 user data options available. If you have chosen to customize the user data in your project, maybe you've even renamed user data zero to, for instance, um, your company's reference number, you can use that as, a, that as well. Okay, so this is, these, these are the columns that I want to show, so I'm just going to simply click on OK. And that will add the color code in the front and my duct path over here. Now my length is still in millimeters. I would really like to show that in meters. So I can left click in the title. And first of all, I will just change the millimeters to meters, like so. However, I'm pretty sure if I click on OK, the lengths will still be millimeters. Now to customize the actual content, which is grayed out at the moment, I need to enable activate expert mode. So left click on here. Uh, we're gonna be a bit adventurous, so we're gonna click yep. And that will come up with the SQL query. So what this does is pretty much, um, as previously explained, SolidWorks Electrical runs um, or um, runs by the, in the background an SQL database and we can just pretty much query all information that we want. Now I'm not gonna make my own custom SQL query. I'm going to go back to my columns and as you can see you can now left click in the content over here. <clears throat> Again, I will click on the FX button over here to customize my equation. And as you can see, it just places the value length in a string. So just a piece of text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that by a thousand. 
and simply click OK. Next, once the length has been placed, I can actually click on apply and test if it's actually all good. But I'm just going to keep on going. Let's have a look at layout. In the layout tab, we can specify how my tables are going to be shown and placed on the actual drawing. I'm pretty happy with that, so we'll leave it as it is. However, my sort and break, that's where I want to make some changes. Here we can determine how each table gets sorted on what column. And where we want to have separate tables. So break means um, it's SolidWorks Electrical is going to create a separate table for each different um, information type. So I'm going to get rid of my wire tag, which is the wire number. Um, I would like to sort on the wire line style. Um, that's fine. But what I really want is I want to have my color code in there as well. So select the color code, click on the arrow so that it will be added to the sort order and break condition. And we're going to simply break on the wire color. Now that will generate a separate table for each different color. We can also separate by wire number or by origin. Um, but wire color is the one I'm after. If I click now on apply, Close the drawing, select update. We can now see all the columns over here. And we can see that the length has been updated to meters. Okay, last thing, let's generate the drawing. I'm only going to go for the list of wire or list of wires by line style and click on OK. And now you could see automatically my screen updating. And if I zoom in over here, we've got the color code green, which in this case for me is my 24 volts signal wire. And you can see I've got 13.7 meters of that. Then we've got black and brown, which are my phases, so my 240 volts. And we also got our protection green yellow. So it's sorted by wire number. However, it's broken or each color has its own separate table. That's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching, guys.